what's everybody welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in to another video so um today i'm going to be working on disassembling part of the 67 mustang 289 motor and i gotta put in the um i gotta put in the new roller cam so what's in here right now it's a flat type of cam and i gotta i'm gonna be doing a conversion on it so in order to get everything out i gotta take apart a few things so I'll show you guys real quick what it is it's basically this is just how we left off in the last video. Um, take the motor out, and I did pressure wash a little bit, but so far right now, um, I gotta take off the distributor, take off the coil just because it might be in the way. Actually, it is in the way. Take off the lift plate, take off the intake manifold, water pump, and there's a block off plate that goes here. And yeah, probably has to come off as well because we do have to take off the lower part of the timing chain. Might as well take off the whole fuel system. Um, I do have a block off plate for that as well. So yeah. So I'm gonna do quick time laps on it. Oh, also the valve covers have to come off because I do have uh, roller valves. Not sorry, not roller valves. The um, roller rockers. There we go. So I'm gonna put you guys on a quick time lapse. Put you guys on the tripod, and then we'll start disassembling.
All right, so just real quick. So these are the Howard's cans rollers. The cross link and everything on them already. Um, so I knew this was going to be an issue, which heads got to come off in order to get the the lifters in there into the bores which kind of by this video I kind of wanted to get these in there and I wanted to check push push rod for me that way I should actually have my push rods but now that I'm looking at this um, heads are gonna have to come off I could take them off and retorque them without messing with the head gasket and that should give me my crush thickness the crush thickness is the uh, thickness of the, of the head gasket after it's been torqued down. Mm. But, see, I look at these, I look at these bores. Alright, so I started looking at these bores, like, let's say, like this one right here. See, there's rust in them, light rust, nothing major, but this one doesn't have any at all. Nothing at all, nothing at all. This one has very little, now it has a little bit more. Um, I don't see that the gasket might have failed. It doesn't look like it failed either, but it might have been the intake manifold that was failing. But yeah, so this is the other thing I was talking about. You see all that rust there? So I'm thinking that it sees because it's not like it's not rusted on the head itself. So I'm, what I'm thinking is the valve covers probably had condensation on top of them, and then when I started the car and I was moving around the area, by area I mean my my driveway stuff like that. I'm thinking what could have happened was it probably let go of all that rust and now it's sitting up here on top. This that looks a lot better. But now that you know, the lifters won't go in. The head's gotta come off. Thinking maybe the heads should just, thinking the heads should just go to the machine shop and get cleaned up. Um, that's gonna be the best bet. That way you can clean out all these jackets and all these ports and stuff like that. Um, just kind of sucks because I kind of wanted to get the, um, I wanted to get the, the measurement for my push rods so I get the push rods ordered in and then that's kind of what's holding me back right now is that I don't have I don't have the correct push rods for this setup this cam and the roller the roller lifter setup can't even talk but yeah so I think I'm just gonna wrap up the video here I'm just gonna remove the heads remove the exhaust manifold since we're not gonna need them so we're gonna be running the the headers um, remove the smog pump injectors on both sides but if I guess that's what these things are called right here smog pump injectors or something like that so basically just blows air in there but yeah um, and then everything's kind of a mess kind of been throwing everything around as I'm making the video here and like always you know the workbench but yeah just coming along so gonna wrap it up right here guys so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for tuning in and like always you guys already know all the good stuff please comment subscribe subscribing just lets other people know that this this channel is pretty much you know makes good content it's gonna be good for entertainment stuff like that so if you guys can do me a favor please go ahead and comment and subscribe and thank you very much catch you guys on the next one peace